For part D, find the average rate of change of the derivative of g of x on the interval from negative 3 to 7. Does the mean value theorem applied on the interval um, from negative 3 to 7 guarantee a value of c between negative 3 and 7 such that the second derivative is equal to this average rate of change? Why or why not? So it's basically asking us, does the mean value theorem work with this derivative? So first, let's do the easy part. Not that the other part's that hard, but it's something that we have to think back to. Average rate of change of the derivative. So it's just like what we did on C, only with the derivative. So we're going to do derivative of G of 7 minus derivative of G of um, negative 3 all over 7 minus negative 3, or 7 plus 3. So to figure out these, all we have to do, all we have to do is look at the graph. Derivative of G of 7, well, this is the derivative. If we put 7 into the derivative, we get 1 out. So we have 1 minus derivative of g of negative 3. Put negative 3 in, we get negative 4 out. So we have 1 minus negative 4, or plus 4, all over 10. So we get 5 over 10, or 1 half. But now the rest of it asks us, do, basically, does the mean value theorem apply to this? derivative. Well, you need to know basic thing about the mean value theorem. In order for the mean value theorem to work, our function has to be continuous and differentiable on that interval. So, this is our function, the derivative of g. Is it continuous? Are there any holes, jumps, asymptotes, anything like that? Oh, yeah, it's continuous, right? It never stops, jumps, no holes, anything like that. So, it's continuous. But is it differentiable? Can we take the derivative at every point and get a number? Nodding your heads, you're afraid to say something while we're recording? No. All right, it's not differentiable, right? At these points right here, the derivative of this graph is undefined, right? The second derivative, or the derivative of this graph, would be undefined. Remember, in order for the derivative to exist, the left-hand derivative has to equal the right-hand derivative. Are those equal? No, right? On this left side, we have a slope of 2. Over here, we have a slope of 1 half. They're not equal. Slope of 1 half, slope of negative 1, not equal, right? Slope of negative 1, slope of positive 1, not equal. So it's not differentiable at those three points. In order for the mean value theorem to work, our function has to be differentiable. So it's asking, will it work? And then why or why not? The mean value theorem does not apply to this function on this interval. All right, the mean value theorem does not apply to this function on this interval because derivative of g is not differentiable on this interval. Right, not differentiable at all points on this interval. Fun stuff.